All right, what's happening, everybody? I'm your man, Akeen, and welcome to today's vlog. Week 8 of the NFL season, here to give you some fantasy football tips. Now, I'm going to start with the injury report. Andre Johnson of the Houston Texans, he is listed as day-to-day, -day, still dealing with that hamstring injury. Now, Houston is hosting the Jacksonville Jaguars this week. I do not think you should start Johnson this week because of the distraction of that hamstring injury. I believe that he's going to focus less on the football game and more on his hamstring injury. So, I think you should bench him this week, but he should be fully recovered and available next week. Now, um, Beanie Wells of the of the Arizona Cardinals, he's another player I think you should bench this week as well as Peyton Hillis. Start with Beanie Wells. He's showing a significant um, swelling in his knee, and plus, the Arizona Cardinals is going to Baltimore to face the Ravens. A tough defense, and plus with the swell knee, I think they should. Um, he's not expected to play this week, so bench him this week, and I think he should be available for next week. Now, Peyton Hillis of the Cleveland Browns, the second running back I need to talk about. I think he's another player that you should sit out. He has been a bust thus far this, this season. Still dealing with some injuries. He did not practice yesterday due to soreness. Come on, man. You need to suck it up. But also, Cleveland is also playing against the San Francisco 49ers, number two in the league in the rush defense department. And I think Peyton Hillis, no matter what, if he's healthy or not, because they're placing against the San Francisco defense, you should bench him this week. Now, Matthew Stafford of the Detroit Lions, he has been dealing with a right ankle injury. But there's great news. He practiced with the first team offense yesterday, and he is looking forward to doing the same today. If he practices with that first team offense today, he will be available this week when Detroit plays the Denver Broncos and I think he's going to have a good game if he's available he should be able to practice today and he should be available for um, Sunday's night for Sunday's matchup now a, a player that, another player that you should start is the Marco Murray of the um, Dallas Cowboys. Dallas has a big game this week against the Philadelphia Eagles. And the Philadelphia Eagles defense has been struggling against the run. Last week, the Marco Murray posted a team record 253 yards rushing, 31 points for fantasy football play. And I think he could give you some a, a good range of points this week, at least 20 points against the struggling um, defense of the Philadelphia Eagles. He should have a great game. So start the Marco Murray again this week. Now, I have a couple of players I need to talk about. Players that you should pick up for the future of your fantasy football teams. Starting with Noshawn Marino of the Denver um, of the Denver Broncos. Willis McGay, the starting running back, he will not be available for the next couple of weeks. He will be out due to injuries. So Noshawn Marino will get the bulk of the carries at the running back position. I think the I also I think um with Tim Tebow at quarterback, Denver's going to focus more on running the football in order uh, until they're more comfortable with Tim Tebow passing the football. So um, Noshawn Marino will receive more action this for the next couple of weeks. Now, at Washington, a couple of players that you should definitely um, pick up uh, if you have not picked up, starting with at the running back position, Tim Hightower will be out for the season due to a uh, knee, um, torn knee ligament. He, he's going to be out. So Roy Hulu Jr., the rookie running back from Nebraska, he should have a big season coming towards the end of the year. A couple of big games, and he's a player that you should definitely pick up because he's going to receive more action, more carries, split in between um, Ryan Terrain. Ryan Terrain is injured prone, and I think he's going to get injured later on in the season, giving Roy Hulu an opportunity to start and get more carries this season. He's averaging five yards per carry. He's a speedster. The fastest back that they have on his team, I believe, between him and Tim Hightower. And I think he could resemble Tim Hightower's speed and um, give you some good valuable um, fantasy points in the future. Now, at the receiver position, Santana Moss will be out for the next couple of weeks, which means both Jabbar Gaffney and tight end Fred Davis is going to get more action and get more touches and, and get, catching the football. I think Jabbar Gaffney, he is at least a number three receiver for the fantasy football teams, but he is now bumped up to number two because of the loss of Santana Moss. I think um, the quarterback John Beck is going to target Gaffney a lot more. Same for Fred Davis. Fred Davis is obviously a starter at the tight end position, and I think he's going to give you some good, valuable points with the loss of, of Santana Moss. And I think you should definitely pick up Jabbar Gaffney and Hulu, Roy Hulu Jr. And I already know that most people already have Fred Davis, but Gaffney and Holloy Jr. for the future of your fantasy football teams. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys is next Friday for Week 9 of the NFL season. Thank you for watching. Watching today's vlog from Sports News Insider, I'm your boy Akeem McCall. Be easy.